got three chickens done and our well, our well pump went out. figure out what size pump I need and fix it. Way down in there there is. That's our well. So I just pulled the well head off of the casing and I'm just disconnecting the wires right now. That's really it. Yeah. I've done this one other time. I sort of know what's going on and what I'm doing. So I'll be kind of thinking my way through this. So this bar I made up, like I said, I've done this once before, but it's a T-handle um, with I think about an inch and a half fitting on it that you screw onto the pitless adapter down in the well. And that's what will hopefully grab the thing and pull it out. Of course it is. Well, I gotta get a new bushing here. Try to stick that in there and screw onto that pillow adapter. This one's too big for the one that's down there. Um, I'll probably be about a half a day finding that because we live in a town that doesn't have a good hardware store. Every time I go there, they have nothing. came out a lot easier than I expected, which is fantastic. Um, we've got a rental house. And we, I did, did this the other, on that house, and that one was ran in galvanized pipe, and it was a bear to get out. This one came out much easier, which I'm thrilled about. So, we couldn't film pulling the pipe out, because it took two of us to do it. But, uh, really well and I'm very thankful so I'm gonna start taking this apart so then what do you take this bump with you when you go with the run I'm going to. How long do ball pumps typically last? 
Our yeah. other one lasted what? 40 years? Maybe. I really don't know. I guess it depends on their usage and what kind of condition they're in, or running condition they're in. This one didn't have a check valve on it, which I don't really understand. I don't know if there's an internal check on these pumps, but I'm putting a check valve in it. And what's a check valve? Um, it'll only allow the water to flow one way. And if the water tries to go the other way, a cap will close and prevent it from happening. And why do you only want water to flow one way? Because when it's off, I don't want the water to go back down in the well. And this thing has to basically reprime every time or push the water the whole the whole way. I don't I don't feel like that happens because I don't hear it. Um, but nonetheless, having a check valve and it's not going to hurt anything. <laughs> we got all the money in the world to buy all the stuff. Did you, did you get enough bills off the tree out back? <laughs> right, right. I sh I'm gonna go grab more money off of the off our money tree. To pay for all this? No sweat. So, um, do you want to ride to church for me? Like, back to church? It's not raining, maybe. Because we last time we Because biked, somebody, uh, was pokey? Thank you. Somebody was pokey? Is I'm that sorry, really? we could bring my... Yeah, to the timer for, like, I don't know, 7, 6.30, somewhere around. And then, at 6.30. Seven. I'm gonna be there. You're still doing the pump, Daddy? 
Mm-hmm. Do you know how long this is going to take? A couple hours. Mommy will relieve you. Daddy. <laughs> you can't hang. I see the water's all gone already. Oh. Great. Is there if I paint that? Nope. This is chlorine. This is chlorine. Tablets. Splicing the wires together, and then I'm gonna put some liquid. It's called the liquid tape on them. It hardens and creates a watertight seal. Oh, he's doing that. Get a load of these tomatoes. So these first two rows we put fish, lime, and compost in each hole. I mean they're massive. That's fish, lime, and compost. This third row we did just compost. And this fourth row just dirt. No compost, no fish, no lime. And I think the results speak for themselves. Anyway. Back to more pressing matters. Does that dry instantaneously? No. It takes takes 20 minutes or so. And really, I don't know, I've never seen anybody say you got to use this, but I do. I think it's... You just feel like it's about, like uh, insurance? Yep. Try to work it into all the tape joints and... Then it, it amounts to putting caulk on the tape and come back and put the fitless adapter on and then we can start dropping it in the hole. Are you heating it up to make it more flexible? Yep. first that stuff it goes on much easier and what are you attaching to it the pitless adapter pitless adapter this is the old school kind that I don't really like but whatever it's what we got I wanted to buy a new one but they didn't have one so I cleaned this one up Sprayed it with some chemical, some chemical lube. I think it'll be all right. Oh, and then took some uh, plumber's grease 
and grease that o-ring the step is probably not necessary but I see everybody else do it and if they do it I do it that's right doing the pump? Yep. It's gonna take forever? No. I wish I was a pump. We went from this to this oh, today. All right, we got water. I don't want to turn the camera on. So it's black because we were disturbing the sediment in the well. And so we have to run the well, I mean run the hose from the outside spigot into the well for 15 minutes until we smell chlorine because we had to drop chlorine tablets in the well. And then when we start smelling chlorine, then we cap the well, let it sit overnight, and that ensures that the chlorine is in all the, the entire pipe system, I guess. Let it sit overnight, and then tomorrow we will turn on the spigots in the house and let it run until we stop smelling chlorine. Yeah, sorry, we forgot to film turning it on and all the excitement. We It was getting stuck and didn't want to go. And I thought, because the other pump we had was was a long... Narrow. Yeah, more narrow, skinnier pump. And it slid right out when we pulled it out. And this one didn't want to go in real easy. And it got me really worried. Um, but our hero behind the camera me. <laughs> uh, convinced me to keep pushing, which I didn't want to do. I was afraid it was going to get stuck and I wouldn't be able to get it out. That's what we're doing, cycling the water for 15 minutes until we smell the odor of chlorine. But it works. We got water. So now, what are you, two for two on changing out well pumps? A job that stinks, but must be done. Gotta have water. Yeah, this could have been a lot worse. This could have been 15 below zero, snow on the ground, ice, or rain, or who knows what, but if you gotta change out a well pump or do anything like this outside, today was a pretty good day. And it was to supposed it. to rain, that was the forecast, so we're just thankful that it did not rain, the weather was cooperative and not hot, not humid. It's actually perfect. It's perfect yeah, day. it sort of worked out. Yeah. Things don't always work out. This did. Can we talk about these chickens for a minute? 
We started out the day butchering and we ended up the day changing out a well pump. So it's safe to say these are the three luckiest chickens in chicken land. So we're back, it is three days later and it is reckoning day for the other three chickens. And we're getting ready to butcher them right now. It's <laughs> a day without diesel. You ready? Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> oh, he's on the gas. He's on the diesel. 